Hey there, button mashers. Zach here with Press Start. Welcome to Pause Break, a quick three to five minute video where I go over some top news I can't wait to pause many. Pretty much what I got going on today is the big story going around is that Watch Dogs and the crew from Ubisoft are being pushed back from the first quarter until spring of 2014. This has got people up in arms a little bit about like, hey, I was waiting for this. It's supposed to be a launch title. This is what I was hoping I was actually getting my system for. I even read a tweet, uh, a comment from somebody actually stating that they're going to switch to Xbox One because of the launch titles now. It's like, you're going to switch your console choice because of a launch title. Were you really that set on PS4, Xbox One because of that? Why not just get the Xbox One with Watch Dogs then? What made you want to go to PS4 because it had Watch Dogs? So, that's kind of just how I feel about it. But, personally, I would love for any other game company that if they find a problem with their game, to hold on it. Uh, especially with the major developers like Ubisoft, Square Enix, uh, Game Freak, for example, because of their most recent game, Pokemon, is getting into the news again because of a game-killing glitch. That when you save in a t certain town, uh, not going to give any spoilers and stuff, but when you go into this certain town and you save, they can actually lock up the game, so you have to shut it off mid-save, which, of course, corrupts your file, and you lose everything. So all those Pokemon you caught, you got to do it all over again. Not a good thing. And honestly, a glitch in my mind that should have been caught by a different company as well-versed as Game Freak. They have made how many Pokemon games? You would think that one of the main tests would be to save in each and every town. It's a common feature in my mind. You just travel this road, caught some new Pokemon, leveled up. I gotta save. I'm healing my guys. Let me save now so I don't lose anything. So you would think it's a pretty common thing to test. And one of these glitches really, in my mind, shouldn't end up in a final result. Now, other big glitches that have happened usually happen after a patch. For example, Skyrim's evil glitch where the dragons would fly backwards. Um, that was a, also a game stopping glitch for a while because you couldn't kill dragons and that was a big aspect of Skyrim. You couldn't get certain abilities without killing dragons. So that kind of stopped for a while, but that was because of a patch. It wasn't released like that. A glitch that big shouldn't be released and that's just kind of my feeling on it. Because um, when that happens, first off, you just bought this brand new game. You got this excited moment, brand new game, yay, smell of cellophane, cellophane and plastic and we're ripping it off and we're playing the game and all of a sudden, we can't play anymore. You have to wait for the patch. <laughs> By the time the patch comes out, you don't have that new game feeling anymore. You probably have it for a new game, and you don't even pick that one up till much later. It kind of ruins that moment and gives a sour taste in your mouth for that game. Um, personally, that's just, again, my aspect on it. I would wait months to make sure a game uh, from a main developer is polished, clean, and ready to go, and is not going to screw up on me within the first couple hours. So, let me know what you guys think, though. What do you think about pushing back a game, especially one that you've actually pre-ordered and are expecting and are excited about it? If they push it back, should they maybe give you something for that? Now you put your money on it, you've guaranteed them something, and they weren't able to hold up their end of the bargain. Should they maybe give you something more for the pre-order? Something extra, better value? What do you think? This is kind of a discussion thing, these little small videos, because there's not much in it. So let me know what you guys think. Give me kind of a discussion in the comments down below. I'll talk back to you guys, and we'll see what's going on. Till next time, guys, keep pressing those buttons. Take it easy. Bye.